Hey everyone, um, so DJB mentioned that you all would like to know how to download Imperial Assault 3D to be able to make games more immersive. So I'm here today to show you how to do that. Uh, first, we'll go through Steam and we're going to go on Community and click Workshop. Through there, we're going to look up Table Top Simulator, it will be usually the third one. Once you go do that, we're going to type in Star Wars Imperial Assault. And it will usually be it, quite a few steps down, but this is the one we're looking for Imperial Assault 3D by Draw. Okay, we'll click that, hit the subscribe button. And it will automatically start downloading and all the packaging and all the information that you will need to be able to run this 3D model of the game. Um, from there, we will end up opening uh, Tabletop Simulator. All right, so once we've opened up Tabletop Simulator, we will open up Create. And if we're playing solo against the IA Commander, we can go single player, or if we're playing with friends, we'll go on multiplayer. But for all case purposes, let's go single player. Once we do that, we'll click here on Workshop. Okay. And in my case, it will be down here, but if this is the first thing you'll download, it will always be at the very, very top. Okay. Uh, we click that, we click Load. And the first time you do this, it's going to be rather a little slow because there's going to be a lot of unpacking. It's going to, you know, there might be a few errors uh, prompting up here and there. But after the first two times, you won't see them as much or at all. Like over here, there's no errors showed up for me. And then you can just zoom in here and they will ask you. Which campaigns you, which expansions would you like to use? Uh, there's even some expansions from the Imperial Assault Continuity, Continuity Project. Okay, I'm going to just select all of them for all case purposes. Click Done. Uh, this will just, this is just a friendly guide to help you out, uh, but it's unnecessary. We can just click Done. And here we have everything that it has been part of Imperial Assault from day one to the continu con continuation project. Okay. We have all of our core heroes, you know, Mac, Jin, Garkan, and we have some heroes made by TV Boy himself, King Somos. Uh, Lieutenant Renz, Kurikanos, Boss. Of course, you'd use those in different type of campaign setup. And on here, over here, we have the Imperial Agenda decks all listed out, and the Imperial uh, class decks. When doing this, you can decide what kind of agendas you would like to use. Uh, for now, we're not going to be starting up anything, so we're just going to select all by clicking and dragging, and then pressing G to group it all together. Uh, note, when you do this, it there's no going back from that. You will have to just manually grab each and every one of them. So make sure when you do that, it's final, and you're, it's going to be with a deck that you're no longer going to be using anymore. Okay. Uh, it will be a hassle to get the deck or cards you want afterwards. Throw down the cards here. Um, at the very top, there's objects. We click. We can click that. Components. Uh, miscellaneous. I believe. Oh, my bad. Tools. We'll click bag. And the reason why we'll want to do that is to help clean up some of the clutter and allow us to organize things as we go on. Uh, one of the fastest ways that we can do this is by creating a bag, hitting search on it then selecting all or as many as possible of these click make sure all of them are floating with you and drag it right into the bag and then you have it all here see then you could just click the bag drag something out and it will uh, be everything that you had 
usually it goes back inside the bag, but in this case, it's not, no biggie. Um, in regards to the maps, how would you end up doing that? Well, we would go over here to where we have our, it's listed under agenda missions, but these are actually all of the expansion missions that we have. Okay. And we will just pull out a card and you see here with the tutorial, the moment I pulled it open, a button appeared, but I will use aftermath for this example. I'm going to click the button aftermath. And the whole table, the whole map is already set it up, set up for me. Um, one step I did skip, I'm sorry for that, is to change my color. Since I usually will be playing as the Imperial, I will click black for Game Master. Over here, there's this hidden area. This is where you'll be putting all your troops or your uh, hidden cards so your players won't see them until the moment it's time to reveal it. As you see here, the terminals are interactive. They already have the base number of four. If you want to reduce their health, just click the button here. And if the rebels destroy it, nice little cool explosion to happen. Um, when your rebels log in, they will come in and they will choose a color themselves. In this case, I would choose green for David. Kind of drag him over here. And throw them right in this center mat. And then I'm going to click this button. Notice that when I click the button here for David, okay, let's stick together. on this side here, he will prompt up his little name on the HUD. Okay, so this is an easier way to keep track of things. Um, instead of having to keep going back and forth to click uh, attack, defense, or start turn. And notice that once you click the button for David, his Miniature shows up, and so does his class deck. You can go over here and right click it, search, and all of his XP cards will be here available. Okay. Even his starter weapon, the heirloom dagger. Um, <clears throat> this mod is very intuitive and it's uh, programmed very well by Drawd. That each one of these buttons already corresponds to uh, his strength, defense, tech, and even the current weapon that he starts with. And for example, if I were to click attack here with okay, David, see. you'll have his little voiceover, and the dice will be rolled on this on this dice tower, and the results will be shown over here on the screen. But well, we see the range is listed, the amount of damage done will be listed, how many surges we received. Um, will be done, will be listed as well. And if I were to jump over back to the Imperial side for just a moment and to grab a, well, the first car, okay, Agent Place. Notice again on the HUD, Agent Place shows up on this side when it's there for the Imperials. And I will click Defense. And it will automatically do the math for us. Okay, three damage was done, but Bitplay's got one block. Already done. Two damage. Makes all that dirty work a little bit easier for us, who are a bit slower. <laughs> and once that's done, once you decide what the surges are or if there's any added uh, modifications, just hit clear dices, and then you're ready to start again. Um, in the case that you do change a weapon with David, let's say, for example, he gets the punch dagger. All I will have to do is punch dagger is a blue yellow. I will come over here, grab a, a one blue die, one yellow die, and I will hit attack. Okay, Notice on the chat over here, it says change attack dice by David Elso. And then I'll hit attack once more. And notice now instead of green yellow, it is blue yellow. Okay. And if I want to change it back, I do the same process. I just, in this case, I just grab one green die, one yellow die, shift over, okay, let's attack, again. and it has been changed once again. Okay. Um, that's the very basics of Imperial Assault. Uh, for the most part, that is what your Rebels will be doing. For the Imperial, there will be just one extra thing, which is this is where our deployment groups are. Okay, we can 
hit search and every single unit is here listed from villains to regular stormtroopers okay, we just grab them pull them out with guard and there they are um notice again on the hud where it says agent blaze sentry joys there's this little plus symbol this plus symbol is where we do we add conditions so if there's bleeding focus weekend all that good stuff you can just hit on them and it will automatically show over your character prompt or miniature that they have it the sage in place is a little too small so i'm just going to go up to him while he's still highlighted notice not highlighted highlighted i'm going to press and hold the plus and he gets bigger same thing if i do minus he gets smaller you can do that for every single one of your miniatures Okay, once the mission's over, you can hit clear map and it will say your cards for the Empire will be put back here. Sometimes it will glitch, so sometimes the, the, the cards will be under the table, as you can see here, it is under the table. Okay, all you have to do is just grab it and put it there and boom, cards back. Okay, for Rebels. That doesn't happen at all unless it's cards, and the sub cards will just drop right back there. Uh, when it comes to spending credits and you know purchasing items, all we have to do is click this button, and it will list. It will pull out this many cards for them to buy. The amount of cards that it will pull out determines on how many expansions you are using. Um, so that is the only thing that changes. If you want to limit the amount of cards that come out of this, you will have to individually pull each card, um, which is not an issue. You could just click this, press R to shuffle, and then just do that. It's slower, but hey, in real life, this is more like the same way we do it anyway, so not much different. Uh, yeah, so each one of those works for. You know, tier one, tier two, tier three. After everything's said and done, uh, we always like to save our progress. So what we will do is go to games up here at the top, and we will hit save and load. Uh, in this case, for purposes, I would just say click save game here. I will save it as uh, side mission one because that's what happens after aftermath. Or I could just say shop, save it however you want. And notice there it is. So that the next time I uh, enter, I just have to click side mission one and I don't have to start through the whole process uh, all over again. Next, I will show you how to do this if you were to do a multiplayer campaign with friends. You hit create, multiplayer, uh, create a saver name if you want to make it public make it public if you want to be private just set a password um, Set a max number of players may you can put it to eight if you want to have people who are just spectating But typically you would have five Hit create server and Here's the fun bit you can even already load up one that had already been uh, created so I can just load side mission one again and it's the same thing. Okay, just gotta wait for it all everything here to load, which will take a few uh, some time based off wherever you live. But that ends the game. Sometimes the cards do show up on top of the tower. That's just weird. But okay. And the way you would end up hosting this is that if you were the one with Tabletop Simulator, you're automatically the host. You just make sure, just have to make sure that you put your save as game master. And once you do that, hit plus to invite your friends. For example, I can send an invite to Pablo here. And if Pablo wanted, Pablo can enter directly into here, or he could go through uh, through Discord as well. He can go through Tabletop Simulator, search the name of the server, which in this case was Sun and then just type in the password and he would enter automatically without me having to send an invite.
if we were to <laughs> he just he just entered um anyways if we were to join a game that is being hosted we'll just hit join and then we will look for anyone for a usually the game will be listed here but that can always be changed we'll look for either for our host's name or the server's name in my case it would have been uh look for the server name sun with the host hex lights and the game would be imperial salt 3d and it then you would click on that uh i'll click this one connect i don't know the password so i can't enter it but that is how i would end up entering a session that is being hosted by one of my friends all right uh thanks everyone and uh please remember to hit like and subscribe and join the discord group on imperial salt imperial salt continuity project uh, where you can find various games for campaigns and skirmishes all right see you there Okay, sure, uh, definitely. We're, you are going to edit this, right? No, okay, that's fine.